Are you not only having a hard time committing to cardio, but really having a hard time exactly what cardio exercise to choose? Hi, I'm Jannie Roberts. I'm a certified personal trainer and also a graduate of the American Academy of Nutrition. Today I'd like to help you make a better choice by understanding exactly how many calories are burned for whatever activity you would choose for your cardio workout. This might help you to make a better choice. Let's start with walking. If we take into consideration about 30 minutes, you're looking at burning about 200 calories. Now, it might not seem like much, but you can always advance that to a higher number. As you get more fit, you start building up your stamina, you can incorporate hand weights and different things that will raise this number. But let's just say for the beginner who's walking at a nice brisk speed, that would be realistic. Running, if we're gonna go for 30 minutes, which is substantial, you're gonna be looking at more like 400 calories. Now, depending on whether or not you're just kind of shuffling along, or if you're really clipping along at a good pace, this number can vary quite a bit. But as long as you're moving from a run versus a walk, you should see somewhere between 375 and 400 calories there in 30 minutes. Again, try to move that upper body and take nice long strides. That will really increase what you're, the burning value to it. Now swimming, this is a whole other ballpark. First of all, 30 minutes is a long time to swim. So let's say you start out and just do 15 minutes of laps. You're really gonna kick it up here, particularly if you use any swimming devices, if you add fins, anything where you can really propel yourself more quickly through the water, you can definitely be uh, looking at 350 to 400 calories or more. Of course, this takes a little bit more cardiovascular endurance simply because you go from holding your breath to breathing holding your breath to breathing. So you probably have to work up to this, okay? And we're looking at, again, 15 to 30 minutes because 30 minutes is a lot when you're first starting out. Now, cycling, this is a great place to start. There's no impact on the body, and you can really go for a long period of time. So again, based on your endurance and speed, you can kick up to, geez, in a cycle class, up to 700 calories. Now we're talking, right? And then if you go into the dancing arena, into something like Zumba, again, 700 or more calories. So pick what you like, but certainly you can figure out how you're going to burn the most calories in your cardio workout. I'm Jenny Roberts. Thanks for joining us.